Welcome fellow guitar slingers, Josh Rogers here. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial for Legrima by Francisco Trega. This is one of the first pieces that I ever learned when I was in my early days of classical guitar study. And today I'm going to be sharing it with you in a note by note tutorial. Let's do this. It starts off, first finger, second fret D string, fourth finger, fourth fret E string. The opening stanza it happens on those two strings and an open B in between. We're going to pick both of those strings at the same time. I use a light rest stroke with my annular finger. You can, perhaps you're using your middle finger or your index finger. Or whichever fingers you choose to use, just try the rest stroke, which is this. Finger comes to rest on the string above the string you're picking. So those two strings together, followed by the open B. Then we move up to the 4th fret on the D string and 5th fret on the 1st string. Then to the 6th fret on the D string and 7th fret on the 1st string. Let's do that together. Then to the 1st fret on the D string. 2nd fret on the 1st string, and I'm using my 4th finger here. Then 2nd fret on the G string. Open B. Then 2nd fret on the A string. Open B. Let's put that together. four strings on the ninth fret, fourth finger on the twelfth fret of the first string, third finger on the eleventh fret of the D string. We pick those two strings together, followed by the ninth fret on the G string. Fourth finger moves to the eleventh fret on the first string and your third finger comes off. Then ninth fret on the G string. Here we're moving the bar to the seventh fret. Fourth finger is on the ninth fret of the first string. Followed by the 7th fret on the B string. Let's do that together. Next, our 3rd finger comes to the 9th fret on the D string. 4th finger to the 9th fret on the B string. And we're picking the D and E strings together. Followed by the 9th fret on the B string. Then we're moving up to the 11th fret on the D string, 3rd finger, 11th fret on the G string, 4th finger, 2nd finger on the 10th fret, B string. And we're picking that individually this time, D string, then open E, then G string, B string. Let's try that whole sequence together. Here, second finger moves to the ninth fret. First finger goes on to the ninth fret on the D string. We pick those two strings together, the D and the B string together, followed by open E. Position shift to the second fret, full bar. Second finger on the third fret of the G string, and we're picking G string and B string together, followed by the E string. finger goes on to the 4th fret of the B string and we're going to be picking the 2nd fret on the A string and the G and the B string together. Let's try that sequence. Here an E chord, 1st finger on the 1st fret of the G string, 2nd finger 2nd fret D string and the two open B and E strings, and we're going to pick all four of those strings together, followed by open E. If I take it from here, cool, that's the first section done. Just a quick reminder if you want the tabs for this tutorial, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you leave your email, let me know that you've subscribed. 
give my video a like and I'll send those out to you immediately. It usually takes me no longer than 24 hours to get back to somebody. Let's move on. Now we're, we're moving into the minor section. First finger, third fret, first string, and we're gonna be picking the E string open, G and B strings open, and this note here on the third fret. So we pick four of those strings together. Then we're gonna move up, eighth fret, seventh fret on the first string. Here I've moved my first finger along and I'm putting my second finger on. And I do a pull off here. A technical note, when you do pull offs, make sure you pull down and across the string. Don't just lift off, if you just lift off, you can hardly hear the second note. Try that again. Then open E. Then we're going back to this chord that you may recognize from the first part of the song. So we're barring the second fret, but I'm not doing all the strings, just five. And I've got my fourth finger on the fourth fret of the B string. And I'm picking the first three strings and the second fret on the A string. Then third fret on the first string. I'm putting my second finger there. Two open E's. Let's run that together. Here we have a sequence of double stops. Second finger, second fret G string, first finger, first fret B string together. Then those two strings open, G and B. Third finger, fourth fret on the D string, first finger, second fret on the G string. Then your first finger moves up to the second fret on the D string and you play an open G at the same time. Then back to that chord. And then back to the two open strings G and B. Let's try that. When you get back to those two open strings, put an open E in there as well. Moving up to the 12th fret on the first string with your fourth finger, then moving 7th fret on the D string, 8th fret on the first string. 9th fret on the A string, 10th fret on the B string. It's uh, quite a, an intimidating looking chord, but it's not so hard. You could do it like this, if it makes it easier for you. Doing it this way just means it's easier to go to this chord which is following. Here we're going to bar 7th fret. And 2nd finger is on the 8th fret of the G string. Then we're doing... That's 9th fret, 10th fret, 9th fret on the D string. I hammer on there, you don't have to, but I do. Followed by open B. And 2nd fret on the 1st string. Let's just take that sequence from the 12th fret here. Here we're moving into a very similar stanza to the opening line, but this time instead of being an E major, it's an E minor. 1st finger, 2nd fret D string, 4th finger, 3rd fret, 1st string. You can use any fingers you like, it might be more comfortable for you to use your 3rd finger. For me, it's my 4th finger. Play both of those strings together, followed by the open B. Fourth fret D string, fifth fret first string, fifth fret D string, seventh fret first string. Let's put that together. Then to the tenth fret on the first string and an open A at the same time. So that's 10, 8, 7, with an open A at the same time at the beginning. Then 10, 7, 8 on the B string. Let's put that together. Then to an 
E minor chord, 2nd finger, 2nd fret on the D string, and an open E, followed by open G and open B. And the next chord is a D7 chord, 4th finger, 2nd fret on the 1st string, 1st finger, 1st fret on the B string, 3rd finger, 2nd fret on the G string. You may be thinking, oh man, that's a strange fingering. It's, I'm saving this finger because I'm going to be putting it up there later. And sometimes in classical guitar, you've got to think ahead and like, how can I get to these next chords easier? You know, some of the fingering might seem, why you do it like that? It's just because of what's following, usually. You don't have to follow my fingerings, but it's up to you. These work for me. So here, we have an open A and the first string together. And then the G and B strings together. Here, I'm putting my 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the A string and this 1st finger is going to come to the 1st fret on the D string even though I'm not picking that one yet. Here, the A string and the open B together. And then the D string and the G string together. That's 1st fret and 2nd fret. Let's try that. finger comes up from here to here to the second fret on the D string and I'm gonna play the first four strings followed by open E. That's the entire song. For me it's one of the most beautiful songs that I play. You know there's lots of complicated pieces in the classical guitar repertoire and this isn't one of them. It's probably one of the easier ones that you can actually learn. Like all good things, uh, it doesn't have to be complicated to be beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. For me, it's a great pleasure to be teaching. If you've learned something from me today, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Leave a comment and let me know what else you'd like me to cover. As you know, let your fingers fly.